Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to the seventh scenario in the Cyclopean Foundations campaign, which is a fan made campaign by The Beard. Uh, there are story, sto story spoilers throughout this playthrough, so if you are planning on playing this yourself and you haven't played it before, then maybe play it first and then check back. I will be reading all the story texts throughout. Uh, we are continuing our playthrough with Daryl Simmons and we are in the seventh scenario, Pyroclastic Flow. First off, uh, let's check on ArkhamCDB.com what upgrades we did to the deck after getting 5 experience from the last scenario. Okay, and we are open on ArkhamCDB.com and uh, the upgrades I did to the deck were to add some fighting power for Daryl. Uh, we have been struggling with the enemies. If we get too many, we are in trouble, so I added one. I've got a plan level 2. To the deck. Uh, this is a really powerful card. Once we get some clues and can use this to just nuke one enemy. And the second upgrade I did was to add the Nightmare Bubble into the deck. Those auto fails are pretty punishing for us, so uh, this is one way to negate the effects of the auto fail. But of course, we are getting the uh, Dream parasites into our deck if we use this so hopefully we don't have to use it that much but we'll see uh, to make room for those cards i removed uh, the second copy of burning the midnight oil so no more copies of this in the deck and also the idol of sanatos which we haven't been playing that much uh, either way uh, this was initially added to the deck just to um, have a safeguard against uh, Daryl's uh, signature weakness, the ruined film, but we haven't been in that much trouble with that as we have been able to get evidence onto cards quite well during this campaign. But yeah, that's the upgrades I did to the deck, so let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and we are set up here so. Just a reminder, we have one mental trauma, uh, which we got earlier in the campaign. And uh, then we start our game at Superman's ship. Uh, Superman is also in play. And let's start by reading the story text for Scenario 7 per Plastic Flow. With the cult's destination known, you scour the Signapar Harbor for any ship willing to take you to Krakatoa. With the travel warning and the worsening weather, you have difficulty finding any ship ready to leave port, much less travel to Sunda Straits. After several increasingly desperate hours, you finally meet a weathered fisherman named Sukiman who agrees to hear you out. The old Indonesian man pays close attention as you speak, but seems to study you more than the words you say. You offer Sukiman as much as you can, but he simply holds his hand up. You must be truly desperate, or perhaps a fool, he muses, I still locked on you. But I trust that Almighty God has sent you to me, I will help you. You waste no time in casting off from Sig Singapore, setting immediate course to the Sanda Straits. The days in transit give you time to prepare yourself and Sukiman for the ordeals ahead. It's difficult to summarize your goal without sounding like a crackpot terrorist, but the fisherman responds with a troubled look on his face. There are a great many things in this world that I do not understand, but I understand the sea above all else. It has been a companion to me through many long voyages, and I know its rhythm and swell like I know my own heartbeat. Its rhythm has faltered, Sukiman pauses, bro furled in concentration. Only once before have I seen it falter, years ago when madness struck the artists of Singapore. One drowned himself in the harbor beside my boat. I can still remember his expression, 
it was the same as yours when you first approached me. Un only filled with despair, the madness stopped at the same time that the sea regained its rhythm, but I never forget. That is why I agreed to help you. You know what has affected the sea and you mean to stop it. Again, I trust that God has brought you to me for this task, to return the seas to normal, and perhaps much more. You stand beside him in silence, contemplating his words and the burden that lies in your shoulders. Preventing the rise of Cthulhu was not what you signed up for when you accepted Whitecliff's offer nearly two months ago, but the states, stakes are clear. Stop the architects of the world will or the world will be embroidered in madness. A sudden gasp from Sukiman rouses your attention and he points ahead the sea before the ship. Unmistakably the horizon is bending. Okay, and next uh, we'll look at the act and agenda, starting with the agenda. Slow burn. The glow of Emerging magma dots the design, disjointed horizon. The cult's work has begun, and already Krakatoa's new volcanic island islands are being thrust upwards and about like popcorn kernels. You approach the center of the operations. With, uh, your approach to the center of the operations will be all the more hazardous now, and we have a seven doom threshold. Act 1. Fractured Voyage. Sukiman grips, uh, grips the steering wheel and shouts at you to get to on deck. He'll keep you on course provided you can repel the cult agents and act as his sputter through the warped seascape. Force at the end of the round, if there are no voyage cards in play, reveal the top card of the voyage deck. Objective, if there are six cards beneath Sukiman's ship, advance. And uh, we have a voyage deck here with six cards. So we have three locations and three treacheries underneath here. And we will be revealing those throughout the game. Lastly, let's look at the symbols. So skulls are minus two. This token gets minus one for each non Euclidean effect on your location. So if we have one, then it's minus three, etc. Uh, Cultist is a minus three. If you fail, remove that top card of your deck from the game. And uh, tablets are minus two. If you fail after this test resolves, move to a connecting location. And we don't have any elder thing tokens in the game. So we can ignore that. Okay, and we start the game at Sukiman's ship. Uh, the ship says... Uh, shroud of two. While there are any enemies at Sukiman's ship, it gets plus two shroud force. If an investigator would be forced to move from Sukiman's ship and there are no connecting locations in play, that investigator takes two damage or loses one action. Choose one. And Sukiman reads uh, reaction ability after a card is moved beneath Sukiman's ship. Exhaust Sukiman. Look at the top one card per investigator of the encounter deck or any player's deck. Uh, return them to the top of the, that deck in any order. Any investigator at Superman's location may activate this ability. Okay, <clears throat> so that is everything, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start, so let's draw our opening hand. So one, two, three, four, five. Hoping to get some good cards here, so let's see. So we get deduction, subvision, old hearing, we uh, redraw the lingering fatigue. Uh, then we get gumption and Dr. William T. Mailson. So I'm thinking of just rolling with this hand. I have good cards for investigation. But of course we don't have any investigation locations in place, so maybe I could... Well, I'm... Yeah, I'll redraw those two. So, I have folding camera and alter fades. Well, at least we got the camera, which is crucial, so we shuffle those back into our deck. 
so the first round will be pretty much set up. Uh, let's see. Just uh, double checking the, the end of the round from the act card. So we'll shuffle this and read that again. So, uh, first, at the end of the round, if there are no Voyage cards in play, reveal the top card of the Voyage deck. So, we will first set up here, so we'll play the Hawkeye Folding Camera. Uh, we'll play Dr. William T. Mailson, and we'll also play the old Key Ring. And uh, we put three keys on here, and that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card. It is the Ward Idol, and we gain a resource. So that is the first round. Let's go to the next round, except uh, I've <laughs> already forgot after the end of the round. If there are no Voids cards in play, reveal the top card of the Voids deck, so we'll do that. And we find the Basalt Columns. So it is a 4 shroud location with one clue, Revelation, put Basalt Columns in play. And uh, first triggered ability, take one horror, reduce Basalt Columns, shroud by two until the end of the round, limit once per turn. And fast triggered ability, spend uh, one clues as a group. Move each investigator and enemy on basalt columns to Sukiman's ship, flip basalt columns and move it beneath Sukiman's ship out of play. And it is connected to Sukiman's ship here. Uh, there are a lot of uh, locations coming and out, going out of play, uh, so I'm not bothering with the connection locations, uh, location connectors yet, so we'll go from here. So that is that round. Uh, Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. The encounter card for this round is... Uh, it is the Lucrit Worshipper. Uh, Lucid Worshipper. Uh, so 3 fight, 3 health, 3 evade. Humanoid, Cultist, Hunter, Forced. While you are engaged with Lucid Worshipper and any amount of non-weakness cards enter your discard pile, remove one of those cards from the game. Forced after Lucid Worshipper attacks you, discard the top card of your deck. So this enemy is engaged with us, so immediately we are getting enemies and we don't have any any means to defeat those enemies. But we'll see. <coughs> so, first action. I think I will just use the Warped Idol. So I commit that to the test and try to evade this guy. So we are evading uh, 5 versus 3. Elder sign. So that's really good. We add one evidence onto. I'll put it on the Hawkeye folding camera. Oh, yeah, and we get to put an evidence over here as the enemy came into play. So this enemy is uh, evaded. We'll leave it over here. Second action, we'll move to the basalt columns. And last action, we will investigate and I'll use the old key ring here. So I'm investigating uh, 5 versus 2. It is a tablet, it is a minus 2, if you fail after this uh, test resolves, move to a connecting location. Well, we succeed, so we break one lock, uh, I mean key, and uh, we get the clue, and uh, then we can get to do the spend one clues as a group, move each investigator and enemy on basalt column to Sukiman's ship, and flip basalt columns and move it beneath Sukiman's ship out of play. And uh, now we have one card underneath here, and because Sukiman, we can exhaust Sukiman and uh, look at the top card of the encounter deck. So we know it is the Reign of Cinders that is coming. 
Okay, let's see what it does. So, Revelation puts a Reign of Cinders in the play in your threat area. Forced at the end of the turn. If you did not move during this turn, test Agility 4 if you fail, take 2 damage. And as, a, as your first action, discard Reign of Cinders. You cannot take move actions to, during your turn. Okay, well, uh, we have the Alder of Hate in hand, so that's good. And because we uh, grabbed a clue, we get one. Uh, Evidence on two Hawkeye folding camera. So now we have uh, plus one willpower and plus one intellect. So that is our whole turn. No enemy actions will go upkeep. This car ready engages us again. Okay, and. Uh, We'll draw a card, we get the White Cliffs Ring, uh, we gain a resource, and we reveal the next card from the Voyage deck. And it is Emergent Island, so it is a 4 strat 1 clue revelation, put Emergent Island into play, action, take an evade action. This test gets, gets uh, this test get, uh, difficulty is equal to Emergent Island, shroud value, if you fail, take 1 damage. After you succeed at an evade action at the Emerging Island, discover one clue from the Emerging Island. And fast trigger ability, spend one clue to so move each investigator and enemy on Emerging Island to Sukiman's ship, flip Emerging Island and move him, it beneath Sukiman's ship out of play. Okay, and uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. And last round, I forgot to remove clue for putting the previous location underneath Sukiman's ship. So we remove that now. Uh, we'll add a Doom to the agenda. And Counter Guard is the Reign of Cinders. So I will just, as a fast action, play Alter Fate. So fast play during an, any fast trigger ability player window. Choose and discard from play a non weakness treachery. That is not attached to an elite enemy. So we'll play that as a fast action to just remove this. Uh, first action, we will evade this guy again. I'm uh, committing the white lift ring, so we are evading four versus. Three. That's not good enough. Uh, I'm using one evidence. To, uh, with Darrow's ability to lower the test difficulty to 1, so we are 4 versus 1. Minus 3, that's good. This guy is uh, uh, evaded again. Second action will move here. Last action uh, we will investigate, and I'm using uh, again the old hearing here, so we are testing uh, 5 versus 2. It is a 0, so we pass. We'll get this clue. We'll get an evidence onto the Hawkeye Faulting camera. We'll immediately spend the clue to put this underneath White Cliffs. Uh, not White Cliffs, but Sukiman's ship. And we will see what is coming next round. So we are getting the Spatial Ward. Revelation attaches spatial war to the location that is connected to the most other locations and does not have a copy of spatial word attached. If there are no connecting locations in place, spatial word can search. So, uh, we don't have any connecting locations in place so, uh, yet, so that might search. But if we pull uh, another location from the voyage deck, then we get that. But that is our whole turn. We'll go to upkeep. We draw Day of Reckoning and gain a resource. This guy readies, engages us again. And uh, I'll fetch the um, Elder Sign token. So it's not in, it, it is. Uh, sealed onto that card. And that is our turn. No other actions, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. 
Oh yeah, and at the end of that last run, we revealed another voyage card, which is the Vertical Seascape. Revelation put Vertical Seascape into play next to the Act deck and add one clues uh, per investigator to Sukiman's ship. This effect cannot be cancelled or ignored. Vertical Seascape cannot leave play except through the action ability printed on it. Fast action ability forced at the end of the investigator phase. If there are any clues on Sukiman's ship, each investigator takes two horror and uh, fast trigger ability spend one clues through flip vertical seascape and move it beneath Sukiman's ship out of play. So I'm just putting it there and we get one clue onto Sukiman's ship. So we need to now investigate here. Oh yeah, and uh, we used the old keyring last round. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that was the end of the round, so this round we add a doom, we get an encounter card, and it is the Spatial Ward, attached Spatial Ward, so this uh, just because we don't have an uh, attached location, and Rain of Cinders, okay, so again, as your first action discard Rain of Cinders, you cannot take move actions during your turn. Okay. Uh, we are not doing move actions, so we are only doing the at the end of the round action there, uh, or the test. Uh, so first action, I'm spending one um, evidence from uh, Hawkeye Folding Camera to lower the test for evading the Lucid Worshipper by two. So we are evading three versus one. And it is a cultist, so we are failing that test. So if you fail, remove the top card of your deck from the game. And it is Inquiring Mind, so that is removed from the game. Okay, that sucks. So we'll try this again. I'm removing another evidence. And we are again testing uh, 3 versus 1. Well, it's a plus one this time, so we succeed. This guy is evaded. Last action, we are investigating here. So, I am using the old key ring again. So, now the Shroud of Sukiman ship is four because there is an enemy here. So, we are investigating uh, five versus two. And it is a plus one, so we succeed. And we grab this evidence. And this is the first time we are investigating Sukiman's ship. So we grab another evidence onto for Hawkeye Folding Camera. Then we'll do this, so we'll spend the clue. As a fast action, uh, flip the, the ver vertical seascape and move it beneath Sukiman's ship out of play. And we'll exhaust Sukiman, look at the top card, and we are getting an enemy which is bad. Okay, can we get rid of that? So Yeah, it, we can't just see what the card is. We can't get rid of it. Okay, well, uh at the end of the round, we do the Rain of Cinders test, so we are testing 3 versus 4 agility, and if we fail, uh, we'll take uh, damage, 2 damage. So it is a skull, it is a minus 2, so we fail, we take 2 damage. So, um, Yeah, we can't. Uh, it doesn't go out of play, so that sucks. So, we'll go to upkeep, we draw winging it, and get no resource. This guy ready engages us again. So that is that round. Let's go to the... Oh yeah, and the old gearing has been depleted and discarded, so uh, let's go to the next round. 
Oh yeah, and again we forgot to reveal the next uh, voyage card. So it is Coiling Waves. Revelation. Put Coiling Waves into play next to the act deck and add one clue to Sukiman's ship per investigator. This effect cannot be cancelled or ignored. Coiling Waves cannot leave play except through the uh, fast triggered ability uh, printed on it forced at the end of the investigator phase. If there are any clues on Sukiman's ship, each investigator discards the top three cards of his or her deck. And uh, uh, fast triggered ability spent one clue as a group. Flip coiling waves and move it beneath Sukiman's ship out of play. Okay. So, first, uh, I think we need to get rid of the Reign of Cinder. So, this guy gets an attack of opportunity on us. And uh, after Lucid Worshipper attacks you, discard the top card of your deck. And while you are engaged with Lucid Worshipper, any and any amount of non-weakness cards enter your discard pile, remove one of those cards. So, well, <laughs> we remove the... Is it the... Non-weakness cards enter your discard Okay, so this just discards. But at least it's discarded, so we don't draw it. So that was our first action, just to get rid of this. Second action, we will evade. So I am... Uh, uh, lowering the... Difficulty with uh, Daryl's ability by two, so we are testing three versus. Uh, yeah, three versus one. It is a tablet, so it is a minus two. So we pass. So this guy is evaded. And last action, we are investigating, and uh, I'm playing the winging it. So we lowered the shroud to 3, and uh, we are investigating 5 versus 3. And I'm committing the deduction, so 6 versus 3. There are too many mi minus 3s in the back. And it is a skull, it is a minus 2, so we grab this clue, but we have already gotten an evidence uh, with the Hawkeye folding camera. Uh, from this location so yeah and uh, just noticed uh, we should have moved the clue from the lucid worshipper onto Daryl's Kodak and also we would have gotten one evidence out of last round out of the uh, Rain of Cinders, and I'll just put that over there because this came into play with one evidence so, and we discovered a clue last round. But yeah, we are spending another clue this round, so this moves underneath here. So we have four, we still need two more, and there are two of these. And uh, we know that uh, one of them is a location and one of them is a treachery. Let's see what's the next card. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, I messed up. So we had also this guy up here this round. I forgot to reveal the top card of the encounter deck. Ouch. Okay, so we remove the cinders and... Okay, so let's back up. Our, we took one damage and one horror from this guy and... Uh, for removing that, then uh, uh, we will need to back up a bit. So our last action is actually to try to evade this guy. So I'm committing one of the evidences on Hawkeye folding. No. Yeah, it's a zero now. So we are uh, last action evading this guy. It is a tablet. We succeed. So uh, we just return the clue here and return this card here and uh, at the end of the investigation phase if there are any clues on the screaming ship each investigator discards the top three cards of his or her deck so we discard the cards but now we this is evaded so it is not engaged with us okay unfortunately we lost persuasion we need and another uh, key ring that sucks 
what it is, what it is. So now we uh, feed into Sukimans, and this is in play. And uh, we'll go to upkeep. We draw another Hawkeye folding camera in a resource. These guys engage us again. Uh, we are in trouble because we can't defeat these enemies. Well, uh, yeah, it is what it is. So that is uh, that round. Let's go to the next round. And uh, there is a non. Uh, there is a voyage card in play, so we don't draw a new one at the end of the last round. Okay, um, we'll go to the mythos phase, so we'll add a doom. We actually forgot to add a doom last round. Yeah. Okay. And it, <laughs> it is another lucid vertical, so this might be uh, game over for us. Well, uh, not much we can do, because we don't have any ways to deal with these enemies. Yeah. Okay. We don't have any clues to use Dr. William C. Nelson, and that is, that is a problem. So, um, I think... Our plan is to evade, evade, and try to investigate and take one uh, attack of opportunity. So we will evade the deep one raider, and uh, we are evading three versus one, minus one. So this is evaded. We'll evade one of the lucid worshippers. Zero. So three versus three is zero. Yeah, we succeed. So let's say this guy is evaded. Last action we'll investigate. We'll take attack of opportunity. So one and one. And we discard a card which goes out of play. And it is a result which you haven't seen the whole campaign. But yeah. Okay, last action. We are investigating, so I am using the last. Oh yeah, these guys have. Yeah, I'm using the last evidence, but uh, this guy and this guy has evidence on them. So I'm investigating. Uh... So I used an evidence, so I'm investigating five versus two. Minus six. Well, of course, we fail. So, uh, we discard three cards. So, one, two, three. And, uh, of course, both of our fighting stuff goes. So, this is removed from the game. This goes to this card. And, uh, yeah, I think that is basically game but we'll play it out so we'll take one uh, attack for both. well uh, the last standing lucid worshiper hits us for one damage and one horror dr william t nelson will bite the bullets and we discard one card which is a persuasion so we're losing all of our offensive cards which is really bad and that is that, so we are ready up, we draw a letter called, won't help us here, and we get a resource, these guys ready, engage us, so that is that round, and we already did this, because, yeah, that sucks, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. Uh, yeah, so I think this will be the last turn. We will probably die from these guys, but we'll play it out. Uh, we'll add a Doom, 6 of 7, and counter card. This round is 
Cloud of Ash. And that's Cloud of Ash to your location, for at the end of the round, each investigator at the attack's location takes one damage or places one of their clues onto their location. Uh, action Investigate. If you succeed, instead of discovering clues, discard Cloud of Ash. If you fail, discard the top three cards of your deck. Well, we, at least we get a evidence here. Okay, well, uh, we start by evading this guy. So we are evading uh, two versus uh, three versus one minus two. This guy is evaded. We we'll evade this guy. Nothing to commit to this test. We don't have any clue. Um, Yeah, we would die from the attacks of opportunity. So we are trying to evade. So only zeros and pluses will help us. Tablets, and we can't move, so we take two damage and we are dead. Yeah. So uh, that was a bit of uh, anticlimactic end to the campaign because. Let's read the resolution. If no resolution was reached, each investigator resigned or was defeated. If it is Act 1, go to Resolution 1, otherwise go to Resolution 2. So we are unfortunately at Act 1. Resolution 1. You collapse to the deck of Sigmund's ship, battered and straining to keep your wits about you under the moder moder maddening assault. The shifting dimensions, constant attacks, and the unrelenting elements all have proved too much to overcome. You hear a dull shout from Sukiman to see that space has shifted once more, placing you in the path of an enormous, fiery boulder. The projectile blasts through the ship, shattering the front half of the ship and igniting what little remains. The force of the impact hurls you deep into the water. You, uh, but as you try to swim for the surface, you find yourself only sinking further. The, dis di uh, the bisecting dimensions keep shunting you deeper underwater, deeper and darker, until you, your last bit of stamina fails. The sea claims you, and soon thereafter, Dread Cthulhu claims the sea. Each investigator is killed. The investigators lose the campaign. So. That was a campaign ending <laughs> resolution, so unfortunately we don't get to see the last scenario in this playthrough series, the Tomb of Dead Dreams, but it is what it is, and uh, well, um, I tried to boost my fighting cards by adding, adding the, I've got a plan into my deck, but of course we didn't draw any, any fighting cards and we kept drawing enemies, which resulted in us getting um, uh, overwhelmed with enemies, and it is it happens sometimes in true solo when you don't have a designated fighter. So, uh, with Daryl being not a, a fighter but a investigator more or so, uh, we were able to get plenty of clues at the start of the scenario. But at the, uh, once we got too many enemies. Uh, we were just overwhelmed and couldn't deal with the enemies, so that's unfortunate, but it is what it is, and that's Arkham Horror. And I have uh, completed this campaign on as a two-player uh, campaign, and uh, it is not that difficult, but uh, of course uh, this is one of those situations I dreaded uh, starting this campaign with Daryl. Uh, if you can't handle all of the enemies coming out in this scenario at the start, uh, you will get defeated and, as you could see, you will get killed. And that is the end of the campaign. And we don't even get a chance to continue with the zero level <laughs> investigator, uh, naturally. But yeah, uh, that was the Cyclopean Foundation's playthrough with Daryl Simmons. Hope you guys like this playthrough and thanks for watching and... Until next time.